This is Mark Lewis with Dark Controls. This is the first in a series of videos that talks about digital drive accessories and digital drives made only by Dark Controls. Today we're going to focus on the DP4, which is a digital potentiometer. Also in this product series is the ASP. The ASP is a digital potentiometer that's closed loop. And the last series in this progression is the microdrive series. These are DC drives with closed loop digital potentiometers built into them. So basically it's an ASP with a DC drive built in. Because the ASP and the micro drives are closed loop devices, they require some sort of encoder feedback like our PU series. So exactly what is a DP4? We call the DP4 a motor speed control accessory. It's not by itself a motor speed control. The beauty of this product is it can be used with any brand, any model, or any type of speed control that accepts a three-wire potentiometer input. The DP4 does not itself output a voltage and it's not a variable resistor. The reason I say this is sometimes people put a meter on the output and don't read anything they recognize. The DP4 is functionally the equivalent to a potentiometer, but it uses advanced digital circuitry to be more accurate and repeatable. The motor control must provide at least 2 volt DC and at most 24 volt DC on its speed pot circuit to work with the DP4. So let's talk about how we would connect the DP4 to a drive. Here's a diagram that shows the DP4, a drive, and a motor. The first connection is the speed pot high lead. This is how the DP4 gets voltage from whatever drive it's being used with so that depending on the front panel display, it will scale it back to the drive on the wiper and the low connection. So again, the speed pot high from the drive gives the DP4 the voltage it needs to scale according to the front panel setting back to the drive on the wiper and the low connections. There are some options available for the DP4. Probably the most popular is the dash one option. This adds a, uh, a terminal strip to accommodate a remote push button to do the equivalent of the up down arrows on the front of the DP4 itself. Most of the time this is a remote pendant which is used to have another location to adjust the speed from. We also offer a plug style uh, terminal block and also we can offer a blank Lexan or front decal. Here's the wiring for the uh, DP4. You'll notice at the top uh, this is a AC uh, supply voltage uh, device. So any, any 120, 240 volt single phase uh, will work to, uh, to power up the DP4. The next three connections, high, wiper, low, is where we connect to the drive we just talked about. There is a five volt supply available from the back of the DP4 to power something up to about 50 milliamps. And then there's two signal inputs, S1 and S2. Those are used to, and the DP4 can be configured to uh, inhibit the output, in other words, to stop the motor through a contact input, or it can be used to select one of or two preset speeds in the DP4. It's not unusual to have applications where we have two or three preset speeds. We can configure the DP4 for that type of application. And finally, there are alarms available to configure in the DP4. There's a true Form C contact uh, type output. Uh, the connections are made on uh, the last three terminals there. So here's the, uh, the operator interface to the front of the DP4. Obviously the display window, it's a four digit LED display, a half inch high numerals, very easy to read in an industrial environment. 
Over on the right, we have the enter and the up down buttons. Uh, in program mode, all three are used. In operational mode, the up down buttons are used to change the drive speed set point. Up above the display window, there are four backlit, uh, what we call enunciators or indicators. Um, normally, these are not lit, um, but if there is a condition where uh, either uh, an alarm is going off or uh, it will indicate forward or reverse direction. Uh, the reason for that is mostly the forward uh, direction light is on because normally we're working with single direction drives. However, if we're working with a reversing drive or a regen drive, we can also indicate we're in the reverse direction. And then the negative indicator, uh, that is used when uh, probably a rev again a regen drive where the uh, voltage the negative voltage that can be configured out of the DP4 would would uh, show that the motor is running in the reverse direction so programming is uh, the DP4 is very easy uh, if you're going to use it in your application to display 0 to 100 percent there really is no programming required however if you want to show engineering units or time in process, there are only three parameters to configure. Uh, parameter 10 sets the display mode uh, where rate is the default. Uh, P20 is the display value at the control's lowest output. Typically, this is set to zero. And P21 is the display value at the control's maximum output. So let me give you an example. Let's say that at full speed on the motor and we have it on a pump, the pump is going to output 500 gallons per minute. So uh, P21 would be set to 500, the maximum pump output in gallons per minute at the motor's maximum speed. Some other programming that's available, uh, again, we mentioned there's two inputs, parameters uh, 30 and 35 control these. Uh, these are where we can uh, configure to inhibit the drive or run the drive at a preset speed. There's also a power up speed a variable. Uh, we can configure that to always, uh, when powered up, be at zero, the last speed, or some preset speed. There's an ability to uh, save any custom programming and restore from that that's in non-volatile memory uh, inside the DP4. If for some reason there's an upset and we want to go back to the original programming, it's very easy to do. And then once all of our programming is changed, there's a jumper uh, in the top board inside the DP4 to lock out any front panel programming. So applications of this product, this probably is uh, a plant, um, um, used in, in plants and in operations. Uh, this is an exceptional distribution cell opportunity because there's no other product in the market like the DP4 and it solves several issues that are typically seen in the plant. The first is repeatable setting. Unlike a manual or analog speed pot, the DP4 is truly repeatable because it's digital. The second is its digital display. Uh, plant operators much prefer a, a digital display over uh, turning a, a potentiometer. Not to mention we can program the display in uh, engineering units or in time that's much more meaningful to the operator. Uh, we can add a decimal point uh, to give an even more precise uh, setting. Um, you can add one or two decimal positions, even three, uh, so you can get very, very fine uh, set points for speed with the DP4. So where we see these used mostly, it's food plants, plastic um, extrusion, packing plants, assembly lines, a material handling, feeders, or just about any sort of conveyor 
will benefit from using the DP-4. If you have any questions or want to know more about the DP-4, please contact us here at Dart Controls. We'd love to talk about your application.